Jesus says, This is the clarion call. Stand up, America, or perish. March 17, 2017. Words from Jesus to Sister Claire. Spoken by Jackie. Jesus began. The red heifer in Ezekiel's vision is a symbol for purification by trial. A flushing out of the wickedness that has gripped this nation, America, for far too long. It is more than financial, it is ideological and moral filth that needs to be expunged from America. For far too long, people have turned a deaf ear to the complaints of those who are grieved by the corruption of this nation. Now is the time to flush the corruption from the soil of this nation, so that she may arise in newness of life. This process is always painful. Purification is never easy. Decay and death have been the basis for the majority of this nation's politicians. Maintaining the status quo, passing over the real moral issues, and straining on nets. The time for that is over. I myself will see to it that evil is flushed from this government and its deceptive arm, the media. The time for indignation is past. Now is the time for action. The church has thickened on her lease. It is time for her to awaken the world and take an active role in seeing to it that righteousness reigns in this country. Your president cannot do this alone. He needs every man and woman on board with his agenda. It is your prayers for the nation, your outcries, your educating those who are ignorant, your active role in fighting this massive front of evil until it comes crashing down. But Lord, I thought it would only be suppressed, not stopped. When I remove my church, then evil will have its opportunity. But until then, Claire, you all have work to do. To pray, inform and enter into spiritual warfare. To see to it that wickedness in high places is brought down into the dust. This is the clarion call. This is to be a time of defeat for the darkness, a time of frustration and failure. And until I remove the church, this is what it will be if you shoulder your cross and walk with me, declaring righteousness and morality the standard of life for your country and politicians. Now is the time to make your opinion heard, even in songs and art, in letters to editors, in public speaking forums, internet forums, and the like. Don't run from the fight. Stand up and declare what is right without rancor. Make your voices heard, my people. Declare this previous administration, Obama, so thick with filth, to be ruinous for the moral and ethical survival of this nation. Choose your words and your weapons carefully. Prepare the way with prayer and fasting. Then make your voice known. It is the grassroots that are going to turn this country on its ear. It is the ruling elite that were destroying it. But the people rising up have indeed put a blockade in their way, and I wish for this to grow bigger and healthier and more outspoken. Not by ugly remarks nor fighting, but by exposing the truth. You are on a mission to prepare all for my coming. A mission that must include taking responsibility for your government, not turning a deaf ear. If you want to live under oppression, famine and persecution, 
go ahead and medicate yourself with shopping and movies. If you want to ensure your freedom and rights to love me, protect your children from crime, drugs and indecent lifestyles, this is the time and season to act. I have indeed brought forth the heifer to sanctify this nation and deliver it from its uncleanness and culture of death, but without the reordering of your lives to stand up and be counted for what is right, it will not endure. You must correspond with disgrace, my people. You indeed must make your voice heard and make your life count for righteousness. Lord, would you please show us how to do that? It is this simple. When you see or hear error, bring forth the truth and stand behind it. Do not expect results if you are not praying first. Remember, ministry of any kind is like an iceberg. 90% is beneath the water and unseen. That's prayer. 10% is visible. That's ministry. Likewise, your mission begins with serious intercession. Then, when I bring you opportunities, you will be prepared. Lord, I've not and still do not feel the burden for this nation that I should. Forgive me. That is true enough, but to your credit, when you catch wind of something I pass on to you, you do show serious concern. And it's not all about how you feel. It's your commitment to doing the right thing when it's inconvenient. Will you go out of your way for a serious discussion with one of your children who doesn't know her right hand from her left as far as the battles of the powers of evil versus good in this nation? Will you stand the heat when you are scorned for your perspective? How much are you willing to invest? That will determine your return. My people, I am dead serious. Rise up and claim dominion over this land. Rise up or perish with it. This is no time to run after your pleasures and distractions. This has been your behavior of the past, and that's what they are counting on. But now you are informed, and you are not of this world. Greater is he that dwells in you than he that is in the world. Stand up and take dominion. You are not alone. The hosts of heaven are marching with you. I am with you, in you, and working through you. Stand. Stand up and take dominion.